North of our lunch stop is Cathedrals on Fraser, the only privately owned camping ground on Fraser Island and our next destination for the Lotus Caravans. Cathedrals on Fraser is fully fenced, keeping out the dingoes who live wild here on the island. One reason just to visit is the shop and general store. It's the most extensive range of beauty products on Fraser Island. This shop is very well stocked with all sorts of essentials and maybe just the pair of sunnies you've been searching for. There you go. <laughs> Frothy cappuccinos, a wall of chocolate, plus full meals from the kitchen that boasts the best chips on the island. I sat down with Vanessa, who manages the park for owner Kathy Whitaker, and found out what else they have to offer and why they're so popular. Now here at Cathedrals on Fraser, what sort of features does your park have? We have camp kitchens available for all the campers. Um, our powered sites supply power and water. Um, obviously it's sectioned out between four sites. The unpowered sites only have water sectioned out between four sites. Our family tents are perfect. They have 12 volt lighting in them with four beds. You can have them made up with linen and they just look beautiful when you arrive. Um, the cabins are always done, cleaned, perfect. They're self-catering three with bathrooms and then five without. But we have the amenities blocked straight across the way with showers and hot showers. <laughs> now we bought our Lotus caravans here to stay. Do yeah. many people come through with caravans? Yeah, it's getting more and more popular. Some people think that they can't, but they can. Guests have private access to the Corrigan Sand Blow, which is behind the campground. Vanessa took me there and explained the history of the traditional owners, the Butchula people and showed me some artefacts found at this very site. I heard that Cathy has sort of a 200 year history spanning back to the original people, the Bachata tribe of Gurry, yeah. Fraser Island. And um, I know we've got some indigenous tools here. Yeah. What are these and how are they used as tools? Well, the Aboriginals used to use some of them for inscribing their names or just for killing or just for whatever it was to survive. Wow. So they're kind of Some like room. knives. Yeah. You can also find fulgurites. These rods form when lightning strikes the sand, liquefying it. They're absolutely beautiful. Who'd have thought that lightning could turn sand into a tube like this? It's, literal, it's literally liquid lightning. Well, thanks, Vanessa. It's been wonderful to chat to you. And if you'd like to come and stay at Cathedrals on Fraser, make sure you book early because it does get busy. And I'm going to keep playing with these fulgurites. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you for the chat.